What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Valorant patch notes 9.05. And the big news about these patch notes is basically Astra and Chamber are getting some buffs. So let's get into the patch notes. Hey, friends, it's me, Joel Allen. How have you been? Below, you got patch notes 9.05. And what's in it? Glad you asked. We got updates to a few agents, including Astra now giving her fifth star. Chamber's rendezvous or rendezvous or whatever. Having its radius increase, there are some player behavior updates to all platforms and one for just PC. Breeze is coming to Unraid and Swift play on console. Console is also getting an updated progression screen at the very bottom. You can check out the schedule for the rest of the patches coming out in episode nine. But please note that these are specific times that the patch will have staggered rollout for all regions starting on those dates. So all platforms, agent updates, Omen, We've updated to Omen voice lines, bam, Omen's even more broken. So first things first, chamber, rendezvous, TP, increases from 13 meters to 18 meters. The best way to illustrate these changes is simple as this. So the initial TP prior to 9.05 was from here all the way to the Zever part. However, with the new changes, now the outer radius is right where the strip is. Next, we got Astra. Stars increase from four to five. And I, I'm not going to pull out Astra gameplay just to show you the difference between four stars and five stars. So stim behavior. Over the years, we've heard feedback from that combat stim effects that Reyna's Empress can disrupt when spraying. It makes it harder to control your shots. And we have updated all buffs th that increase your rate of fire to have a consistent recoil control that matches the default rate of fire. This should allow players who are stimmed to utilize their learned muscle memory that built from unstimmed weapons. This change only affects how the stims modify recoil without affecting the applied spread reduction. Next, we have player behavior updates. We have updated the existing ranked and premier restrictions to expand all teams based on modes that penalize players and will be restricted from queuing up in any team based modes for disruptive behavior. Weapon updates Ares revert the crouch benefits from standard 25% back to 30%, crouching better again and is now the exact same as the Odin. Bug fixes, clients. Um, fix an issue with some letters, blah, 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 blah. Maps Abyss, fix a spot where you can land on a ledge that is out of bounds on the map. Good. Lotus, fix an art, fix issue around the map. Icebox, fix, fix the gap. Sunset, fix a gap and retractable roof above B. Bulbul. Uh, fix the box at mid top to display the correct bullet penetration dec decals. The range, remove the placeholder object in the Vista. EC. Performance updates, optimized threading logic, ordering of the files on desk to improve load times. Please note this will increase the download time on the patch and an increase in patch time. Player behavior updates. We have updated the Riot voice evaluation experience in certain regions. When voice recording is enabled to ensure you to understand the behavior expectations and technical implications associated with the RVE and the voice chat. Uh, console, client updates, progression screen. Cool, cool. Gameplay systems updates added a new map cursor speed slider, which will allow you to speed up or slow down cursor movement on the mini map and maps for agents like Brim Sky Smoke. This is a huge, huge change. I'm absolutely loving this. This is actually probably my favorite change next to the Aries. I'm actually kind of excited for the Aries, just for the record. But besides that, this is actually a huge welcome update. I've been asking for this since the very first patch notes and thank god they listen they watch my channel so it's easier to smoke with depending on your preference it's easier to smoke with brim and it's also easier to smoke with clove and then also will also help you hopefully ping locations quickly during a map or map, map updates new map breeze enters unrated and swift play queues no 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 you michael scott no i hate breeze with a passion I, I i just don't know what to say there's a huge l this is probably the worst part of the update bug fixes fix an issue where the base and curve setting was being applied to cursor movement on the minimap and maps for agent abilities example brim sky smoke agents ability target fix an issue where deadlock sonic sensor cypher scam and vice's arc rose cannot be replaced on some map walls during the buy phase fix an issue where chaos share uh zero point was destroyed by shear fix an issue where shear's collision would linger after uh, slope surfaces fix an issue where 
year putting an extent over gaps improperly so i wonder if, if this is going to be specific locations um that that are associated with like weird elevations so for example if you watch my guide of how to play vice link down below it's basically a I don't, best the best way I can explain it is on split when you're going on to the a bomb site, I believe. So if you're in defense, it's on the left, the left bomb site. There's a little ramp that happens, but you can't put really put your vice wall, especially like close to the entrance, because it's like a ramp with a cubby off to the side that dips down. I wonder if that's what it's meaning. I got to I really got to test it out to see if precise what it means, but. That's what I'm reading. Hopefully, hopefully fix an instance of Arc Rose voice line being cut off prematurely. Fix an issue where the combat report would show the incorrect abilities of the vice. Fix a rare client crash instance related to the steel garden. Omen fix an issue where from the shadows was not cancelable with certain binds. Fix an issue where dark cover would move slowly than attendant. KO fix an issue where KO's ability HUD was ordered incorrectly. And this is also next, the patch note schedule for the future. So it seems like they've already laid majority of it out. So next patch, I believe, no, no, this patch right here is when Split and Pearl enter the competitive scene for console, just for the record, if you don't know that, on October 22nd. Uh, just for the record, I will be releasing videos on September 24th, October 8th. All these days, I'll be re releasing videos. But that's pretty much it for the patch updates, everybody. Thank you so much for everybody who came out to watch. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. But also, 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 fuck Breeze. I'm, I'm there, I said it.